Hello everyone, Shayna here. Just wanted to make a quick video to explain a few things since this is, this is the first day the jars are going up. Um, and then also, I'm, I might say things, so a few things that you know, but I thought maybe later I could use this as a tutorial if other people join and just kind of like to mention a few basic things. Um, first, so the nice thing is about not using the jugs, one of the nice things is like you don't have to worry like who's taking jugs what week and how many lids do you have and all that stuff. But the complication that this adds is that every week every driver has to take up jars. Um, so I was just trying to think of like how can we simplify this and I think just a way for you to think about it is when you come in to go on Thursday morning or whatever it is, you need to just pull out one of these sheets for the month and you basically have to just go through this checklist of how many milk milks everyone is getting and just check it in here. So let me really quickly say one more thing. On Thursday, when you come to get your milk and you, you get out your jars and you have brought your, your clean set back, um, go ahead and put your jar in the cooler already. And and the person who brings the coolers back, you don't have to leave them outside, turned upside down. They'll, they'll they'll dry just you know shake them out and put them in here with the lids up and then when everyone brings their jars just go ahead and set your set in here okay so um so just to check this honey cut this month gets five so one two three four five that they've got a whole um cooler mcgallon gets four whoops these are out of order sorry mcgallon gets four there's four for mcgallon and we'll go back up here winter gets one Winter's there. Sorry about that I put an S on your last name. Um, Dias gets one. There's one for Dias. Clemens gets two. Wiggins gets two. Snyder gets one. Where's Snyder? Right up here. And Kennedy gets two. And you can also see that, that we use those little pieces. For this one that didn't have as many in it, we use this two little pieces of wood, which the wood is over here, if that is helpful for just a little barrier. I'm gonna try today to not have any barriers between them and see how it goes. I think it's gonna be fine. My husband thinks it's gonna be fine with the ice and everything. Um, but so that's what I would do. I would come in, look at this, make sure I've got everybody there. And then if someone is missing, I'm gonna have some spares in here that are just empty and don't have any anything on them. And if it's someone who's got one or two, like you could just throw those in there and we'd be fine. Um, and if not, if it's someone who has like four or five and, I don't, and there aren't enough spares, then just go up without them. And Joseph has actually extra plastic ones um, that we can use once we get up there. For, but that's for emergencies. I mean, we can't do that every week because he only has one set like of, of, I don't know how many jars, I mean jugs. Um, okay, so that's the basics of this part and I'll chat with you along the way. Okay, we just got off on exit 6 and are on our way to the farm and I wanted to let you guys know that the gas station, when you come off on the exit and take a right, the first gas station right there that's been under construction for months, finally has ice back. So you don't have to take a left and go under the highway and then come all the way back. So it's much more convenient. Um, just wanted to mention that. And then also, I encourage you, which I've talked to some of you and I mean, I was told this when I came in, so obviously a lot of you know, but um, to, to, if it's possible to wear a skirt, a long skirt when you pick up, uh, to just be respectful of Joseph and his family. And, and I know the weather changes and it, like right now it's very hot. So I'm wearing a tank top, but I just have an, a shirt to throw over when I'm pulling up. And that's just something that I wanted to mention. Okay, we just got the milk and I just wanted to mention the uh, amount of ice that we picked up at the gas station. Um, this, when you take a right and go to the one that's just been remodeled, they have bigger bags. Do they also have smaller bags? No, just bigger bags. So I would say three of the big bags to spread out between the four, um, the four coolers, as well as have enough to put, you know, to kind of cover in the big cooler when you get, when you get back. So that should do it. Okay. So the final part of the video here, we've gotten the milk. I've put it in here. It's, this is our last time using jugs, so it's still in jugs. Everything's loaded. And, uh, but I've put my two jars in the cooler for next week because this is now gonna be the normal process. Normally you would come here, you'd pick up, you'd get your glass jars out and you'd put another set in there 
and the other set was, was with Joseph. So all three sets are in motion all the time, basically. Um, so the one thing I want to point about, point out about this for drivers and stuff, um, since now we have to take the jars up, the, the only complication is if you are next week's driver and you want to come and let's say you want to take the coolers with you today when you pick up, you have to be sure that all of the jars are in here. So you might want to try to be the last person to pick up tonight if you're wanting to take these early. If you're going to come Thursday morning and just take them before you go on your run, that's, that's not a problem. They'll all be here because everyone will have gotten their things. But if you're wanting to take them early the day of, then that's going to just, just be thinking that all the jars might not be here if everyone hasn't picked up. Um, so that's the last thing I want to point out. And I think we're good. Joseph talked to Joseph today and he's excited and you know, fine, obviously, with the change, and he's used to dealing with glass jars in other areas of his life, so he's fine handling them and thinks it will be great, and um, so I think it's good.